So what is Smart Cool? Well, it's a range of precision air conditioners, originally launched about 12 years ago um, in chilled water and DX variants up to 150 kilowatts. Over the years, we've undergone a program of continuous improvement with the range. So we've added an inverter at smaller capacities. We've also increased the operating envelope, both in terms of cooling duty and also operating conditions, uh, water and, um, and air conditions, essentially. It's especially popular with call on hyperscale clients because it offers really good kilowatts of cooling per meter square. It's efficient and it's also very reliable. Why have we decided to redevelop SmartCool? Well, there's certain technical trends that are happening in the industry that means that we've had to take a look at the product again. Customers want higher capacities as they grow at scale. The, the need for options like DX, particularly in larger co-location environments, is certainly reducing. Um, internally as well at Airdo, we're going global. Our customers are certainly global, so we need to act global too. We need a global standard of product that can be applied anywhere. The way we work at Airdo is we tend to make incremental improvements to the product every time we do a project, eking out those extra kilowatts of capacity, playing around with operating environments to, to sort of give those incremental gains to a customer that can add up to huge benefits over the life cycle of a facility. Our customers are going global. This is a global market that we're operating in. So what we certainly, one of the key design deliverables for this is we wanted a product that could be applied and built in the UK, in Europe, in the US, applied globally into those standardized facilities that co-location operators are looking at deploying now. So what was the development process behind Smart Call One? Well, essentially we started again from the ground up. We took all the projects that we've done over the years. We took all those learnings from customers, all those tweaks that we've done uh, to the standard catalog item. And we took the opportunity to redevelop the product completely from the ground up. Uh, so starting with the coil, um, we redeveloped that completely. We've looked at optimizing the airflow through the coil. We've added extra rows, taking the capacity all the way up to one megawatts. Um, you know, in order to do that, we've added a, a sort of a V-frame design, uh, particularly at the higher capacities. Now, other cry units, they may say they, they're able to do one megawatt because they have that potential through the coil, that potential capacity. Um, but they don't always have the airflow to match that capacity. So what we've done is we've added um, the, the most powerful EC backward curved fans on the market, delivered those in, a, in that underfloor deck. It gives you that powerful cooling that matches that coil potential to give you that one megawatt. We've also done extensive CFD simulation on the product. That's helped us really optimize the airflow from completely through the unit. Uh, as an example, we looked at the filter placement in previous high capacity smart cool units. Uh, we've used like a, a deck on the top of the unit for the fans. The CFD uh, simulation has shown us that the actual and most efficient way to place the, uh, the filters is across the coil. Uh, so that's what we've done. Uh, and they're actually optional as well, because a lot of facilities these days they almost operate as clean rooms, so you potentially don't even need the filters. So if you want that really optimized airflow and that low pressure drop across the coil, uh, those filters are optional. So what other options are available? Well, one thing we've done with this product, we've canvassed the whole supply chain when designing it. So we've looked at the, not just the, the end users, but also the contractors and installers. Ease of install, especially with a unit this size, is really important. These sites have to be up and running really quickly due to the demand that there is in the data center industry. So we've looked at things like pipe work connections. These can be available in both left and right hand side to give you that flexibility. It also comes with various control valve options and it also comes with our Helix uh, control system. That gives you that intelligence. It's the brain of the unit. It allows it to operate as a complete system, both with other cry units to manage that redundancy and those runtime hours, taking care of things like hotspots in the facility, but also allows it to operate with chillers to operate those high water side delta T temperatures, those low approach temperatures to give you that complete system optimization and maximize free cooling.